Hello people, this is Budridge, it's a new video, uh, I am going to show you VI mode indication done right. Yeah, that's right, and I'm trying this approach. Uh, Anti-clickbait. You see, here now I have, this is the command that uh, made this uh, ASCII art thing here. If I press escape, I will go into Vim uh, VI command mode. Pressing W will navigate the words E to the end of the word, you know. And notice, and when I press I, notice that the cursor changes. That's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, the, uh, how to, to, to add this indication so you know which mode you are in. Interesting? Want to know how it's done? Check this out, it's super easy. I will open up Sublime here and in Sublime we open the file in the home folder. You should have this file .inputrc which is the uh, configuration file for the read line which is uh, what determines how, how this um, <coughs> yeah, how, how, how the command line works. And all you have to do is add these four options here and then that will work. So you can pause the video, just copy this, stop watching this and do something else. Or you can continue watching and I will talk a bit about how this works. Yay. Let's clear this terminal. Um, so the first setting here. Uh, that's important. Set editing mode VI. That that will enable VI mode because by by default um, uh, Emacs mode is enabled in, in I think every terminal emulator and shell. It's it's Emacs mode, which means that you can navigate with Control A, for example, takes you to the beginning of the line. Control E takes takes you to the end of the line. Uh, that's Emacs mode and then there are some more it's not of course not every single Emacs uh, key binding because there are maybe around 4 million default key, key bindings in Emacs all of them aren't enabled but the basic navigation jumping between words and, and killing a line I think it's control K right no it doesn't work now but I think it it should work for you no matter wh whatever Set this to VI uh, mode, uh, editing mode VI. And here's a command also that can be very useful. When you edit this uh, input RC, you can um, do bind dash F and then the path to the RC file here, and that will reload the file. Kind of, it's not exactly reloading, it's if you comment something out, then it will not remove it. But if you change something, it, it will change here. But by default, uh, <laughs> let's see if it works here. If we set this to um, off instead. This is, this is how, how, how it will work by default. Now I am in insert mode, I press escape. Now I am in command mode. So there's no indication on which mode you are in. <laughs> and that's really really weird uh, let's see if this works but then you can set this setting to uh, show mode in prompt to on and now pressing escape no ah now it reads this default I had before god damn it uh, yeah whatever it the default way to show which mode you are in is by uh, it will look something like this. Let's do this. Yeah, this feels good that I uh, 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 that I um, told exactly what what's going to happen in this video. Then I don't have to stress that much. Um, whoops, with uh, the rest here. But I think these are the default uh, mode indicators. So this is this is how, how your prompt will look like. Now I am in insert mode. I press escape. Then it's control mode. But that's uh, really bloated to have the prompt looking like this, in my opinion. Uh, so 
what I did was to to um, to have these indicators. I, I have been using this for for the longest time because I couldn't figure out how to change a cursor. Like, like if, because I, I wanted the cursor to change because that's how it works in Sublime. When I go into insert mode, you can see I have an I beam cursor command mode. It's a block. It's really easy to, to know which mode you're in. It, and it also displays it here in the status bar. And that is kind of bloat. I should fix that sometime, but I haven't came around doing it. But adding a colon like this. Now I am in insert mode, pressing escape, command mode, and I can see that by the colon here. And, and, and that's actually a good indicator also. That, that uh, uh, works very well. I press CC, clear line, and insert mode. <coughs> But to add these, uh, to change the cursor instead, uh, I stumbled upon this uh, article by Okita Vera, some, some user. I think I found this blog just by clicking on links on, on GitHub pro profiles or something. Uh, and this user is using R RxVT Unicode, URXVT, uh, just like me. But I think this will work at least some of these will work for, for any, t any emulator, I think so, but whatever. You can just try it out because it's so easy to do. But I, I, I am quite confident it, it should work. Maybe not the I-beam, but the underline cursor or something. Anyways, uh, here it tells us that we can put this command just printing a control character because because you can send control characters like this to maybe you have done done so changing the foreground color and stuff it, it looks something similar like this but if we uh, do this printf this weird uh, string now it is the ibeam cursor and if we do this and I think three here instead then we have the underline and uh, let's see if it one now we have the blinking block i have uh wrote down yeah here, here here you can see the different there are six different ones and maybe the bars here that is the i beams five and six and here x term in in parentheses maybe that means this only works in x term and your xvt and stuff i i, I don't know but these, uh, the rest of them here, should work for anyone. Um, but you cannot just uh, add this line here to uh, the mode indicators. But when I read this article, then uh, it was like, oh cool, you can change to an I-beam cursor on the terminal, that's nice. I would like, uh, and, th and then, then this ID came up that it, it should, I should be able to, to change the mode uh, indicators to uh, changing the cursors. And I googled a bit uh, and found this Stack Overflow question and answer where they describe exactly this, uh, how to achieve it. And it's a really weird way you have to type in this uh, thing here, but it will work. Check this out, check this out. can remove these guys and uncomment these ones. Do the bind. And now I am in insert mode, I press escape, I am in command mode. So this is basically how, how you have to write it. But it's a, such a good uh, indicator uh, to, uh, and it makes not... Uh, I know I, I have seen many videos and, and guides about people praising this VI mode, but it's impossible to use it when you cannot see the mode in any way. Um, and the, I, I don't think this is a well known feature, and I think it's quite recently they added it to Bash to be able to, to, um, to uh, uh, display the mode like this. So I'm not 100% sure uh, if it will work in other shells. Uh, I think this might only be bash. Uh, and maybe the the blinking bar here only works in xterm and urxvt and such. But then you can use the underline in, in, in instead. 
Uh, I have a lot more cool settings here in my import RC and maybe one day we can look at more of them. But this is all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.